welcome back to my channel and welcome to my summer clean and decorate video. I am so excited. It is summer. If you've watched my channel, you know that summer is my absolute favorite season. And besides Christmas and Easter, July 4th is like my favorite holiday because I'm obsessed with summer. I just am. And so today I'm going to be putting up all the red, white, and blue. For me, summer decor has always meant red, white, and blue. I love the patriotic decor and I love to put it up in May before Memorial Day and it just lasts me all summer. It's usually fall before I change it out really. So I'm also going to be sharing with you a try-on haul today. So I want to thank Belle Lily for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I am going to share with you some of the pieces that I got off the Belle Lily website, which I will link down below. I will also link each of these pieces down in the description box. So if you want to check out these individual pieces, these that I'm going to be showing you today are from their Independence Day collection, but they have all kinds of beautiful, beautiful clothes. And they also have other things like jewelry and pillowcases and aprons and so many things, hats. The prices are amazing and very competitive. The quality is amazing, so soft. So I'm gonna share with you some of these items that I picked out off of their website. And then of course, make sure that you go check them out, pick out things that you like. So they have a sizing guide on their website and you can put in your measurements and figure out what size you should order. But I will tell you from my experience, I ordered all extra large but they are all a little roomy on me. I am about five, four and a half, and I'm about a size 10 to a 12. Um, I have lost a little weight, so generally right now I'm in, in just everyday clothes, I wear like a medium to a large in shirts, and I ordered extra large because I'm always kind of leery when I can't try it on because um, I'm bigger on the top and I want to make sure it will fit there but they are a little roomy so I could have probably gone with a large and been totally fine um, I don't know if I would have been able to fit in a medium but these are all extra large that I'm going to show with you to share with you today so just keep that in mind so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pieces that I picked out and after I do this and we're gonna get into the cleaning and the decorating and all that fun stuff because summer is officially here okay so this is the first one It is this red and white tie-dye shirt and it says America on it and for some reason I am obsessed with tie-dye right now and I have been for a while actually I just think it's so cute for summer it's so bright and cheery uh, when I saw this on the website I was like that's the one I want for sure and you'll see in a minute I chose another very similar one because I love tie-dye and I just think it's so cute this is a really silky soft um, feel I, I don't know it's like lightweight and it's something that I want to wear in the summer I don't want to wear things if you've watch my channel you know I like live in leggings and yoga pants so I like comfortable and these are so comfortable they're not stiff and heavy and hot in the summer so this one it retails for $14.99 so I will actually link like I said each of the pieces down below but I just uh, try to I'll try to show you a more full length I'll try to get back some I just put this with denim shorts and tucked it down a little bit. This would be really cute with white shorts. I need to give me some white shorts because these shirts would all be really cute with white. But um, it's kind of longer and I just tucked it in. Of course, I'll show you what it looks like when it's not tucked in, it's pretty long. But that account, they take into account, I guess, if you're a tall girl, I'm not really very tall. So um, anyway, it's cute like this, I love it. Definitely, definitely this one is one of my top three favorites that I picked out. So let me show you another one. Okay, this is another one. It's very similar, like I said, but this one has a flag on it and it says, We the People. I just feel like this shirt just says July 4th. <laughs> like, July 4th exploded all over me. I love it. I love it. I love the red, white, and blue, the tie-dye. I just put it, it's longer too. You can see I just tucked it in. These shorts would be cute with some jeans. So this one sells for $14.59 on the website. So everything I ordered was below $15.99. I think everything. So this is the next shirt. This is um, a white t-shirt. It's a different, it's kind of the same material, but it's definitely a different fit. It's not as long. It's definitely a lot shorter and a uh, wider collar and the model had it like kind of off the shoulder like that in the picture and I thought that is so cute. You could wear it either way but it's got such a wide collar that you know you can do that. I was worried when I pulled it out that it was going to be a little too short but it's actually the perfect length to like tuck in a little bit. I'll show you how I have it tucked in. I'm just wearing some navy blue shorts and I just these are just like elastic you know drawstring and I just tucked it in right there and uh, it's actually a really cute length I like how short it is I like how lightweight like I said and this flag I'm trying to show you up close really nice 
So this shirt sells for $13.79 on the Bell Lily website. Make sure to check this one out if you like it. I love that little off the shoulder look. Okay, so this is the next shirt. This one is not my favorite. I don't like, usually don't wear like racerback shirts and I'll let you see the back. It's just not um, the most flattering shirt on me, the most flattering look on me. She looks cute on the model though, so I'm sure shows will look cute on lots of people, but uh, there's something about it. It's a little wide right here, um, but I do sew, so I could take this in some and it would, you know, I could fix that. But this is another one that's really lightweight, really lightweight, and it's actually really long. I paired it with these black leggings, which I live in, and see how long it is. Of course, I would try to pull it up a little bit, but this is also in an extra large. I loved the palm trees on the flag. That's why I got it. I just thought it was really cute. But this will be really nice if it's really hot. This shirt um, sells for $13.69 on the website. And I'll show you, it's the Razorback. Okay, so the next one is this black one, and this one is another one of my favorites. I got it because I love the v-neck on it, and I love the, like, that it's black, but it has this, like, simple little flag on it. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute, and I knew it would look great with my black leggings. And it's nice and long, so it's the perfect shirt to wear with leggings if you're wanting to cover the back, you know. But, um, I probably wouldn't wear this with shorts and tuck it in. I like the, sort of, see how it's kind of flowy and big, but like I said, these are extra large. I could have probably gone down to a large in some of them, but I like them, some of them roomy like this. So and this one sells for $14.59. So there's a look at the flag. And like I said, it's the V-neck. So it's kind of a wider collar than the other shirts. And it's that same thin, lightweight summer material. So this one's really cute. But this is the next shirt. This one says Peace Love America. And it's got the peace the hand peace hand with flags on it and then the heart and the American flag and this is just a thin lightweight black love it love it so comfy easy to wear I paired it with my black leggings again so so it's long enough to cover in the back looks great with my black leggings I also have black shorts I could put with this or like again some white shorts would be really cute and this shirt goes for $15.59 on the website so check this one out if you like it. All right, so I saved my favorite one till the end. So first of all, I'm gonna show you this hat. I got this hat. This one retails for $9.99, and this is the gray one, but they also have a black one. And it's got like the ponytail hole, you know, hole right here, but it's also got a higher hole up here. If you have, if you want a high ponytail or a messy bun, if you have a lot of hair, I have a small head and hardly any hair it's very thin so I had to tighten this but it is adjustable and both of the black one and the gray one have the American flag on them I think it is so cute it's got like a little bit of wear and tear like a trucker hat and I am obsessed with you know easy hats I can throw on that's <laughs> be great like at the beach or whatever keeps the sun out of your face it's super cute and this shirt was my favorite shirt I don't know why but when I saw it on the website I thought it was really cute I thought I'll put that in my bag and I'll get that one. But when I got it and saw it and felt it, I was like, this is my favorite one. First of all, it's this like heathered gray, which like is one of my favorite colors in, in clothing. I don't know why, but I just love the heathered gray where it's like almost white. And this shirt just says, God bless America. I love how it's got the stars and the stripes and then the cheetah in between. It is adorable. In the, on the website, they had it with like um, some jeans and some Converse and like a red and white hair bow. And I thought that is the cutest outfit. I need that. So I just paired it with my uh, navy blue shorts and just tucked it in a little bit. But you can see it's got some length. Like if, you know, it's not too short, you can untuck it. You can tuck it in, whatever you want. This one is really cute. I actually really like it with these. And I'm probably going to wear this like to our city's like July 4th celebration. That'll be really cute. So this shirt sells for $15.29 on their website. And like I said, this hat is $9.99. So you can put it, you can pair it with most any of these shirts. I think this hat would look cute with them. But this is my favorite outfit. So 
There you go. <laughs> so thank you so much, Belle Lily, for sponsoring this video. Thank you for sending me all these beautiful clothes. You all make sure that you check out their website. Like I said, everything is linked down below. There's also a discount code for you if you'd like to purchase something using that discount code. And um, you'll find that their prices are very comparable and the quality is very good. These are machine washable and dryer safe. So that's always a good thing. So anyway, I'm gonna get to clean and decorate and I'm excited to get my house all decked out for summer. All right, so I have pulled out all my July 4th decor from the basement and for all the things I think that I'm actually gonna use. I got a few things new this year. These are gonna go on my porch. My other ones were dry rotted. So I also got, this isn't really July 4th, but I found it at Walmart a while back and I thought it was so cute for summer. So this will be my little garden flag this year. And the house is not a ba not bad. I do need to do my floors but my little kitties are sleeping right now and whenever I get out the vacuum, everybody gets all wound up. So I don't like to take down my everyday decor too much when, unless it's Christmas, I do take it down for that. But for uh, other, other holidays, I like to just kind of leave up what I have and then put up some pieces, just, you know, add in some flags and things like that for July 4th. So I have that space I'm gonna decorate and then I'm gonna decorate this little table over here as well. And then my dining room table and probably a little bit on these shelves and then some in my kitchen just a little bit and then a little bit on the front porch so today i'm going to be using the love meg um, multi-purpose is that what it is multi-surface spray it smells so good she just came out with this i think she said they're sold out but they're going to restock so anyway that's what i'll be using it's a cucumber minty cucumber smell it smells so good Okay, so I thought I'd go through and just tell you where I got some of the decor in case you have any questions about it. I won't be doing like a summer home tour this year, so if um, there's anything that you want to know where it came from, I'll just do it in this video. So I got this banner last year at Hobby Lobby. It's not my favorite for this space. It's super cute, but I just don't think it looks right in this space. But I don't really know where else to put it. So I figured I'd go ahead and reuse it this year instead of buying a new one, although I have seen a ton that I want to buy. I got this little lantern at the Target dollar spot I believe and it's got that little tea light inside and also that little plant was from dollar the Target dollar spot last year and I think the lantern was five dollars I don't remember how much the little plant was I also got this little USA sign there several years ago and it was like three dollars I'm I'm thinking I don't remember where I got all my little flags but you can find those at Dollar Tree and at Walmart they're everywhere and they're great for just sticking in plants just to give you a little decor like without having to spend a lot and so I also picked up some little sparkly stars I think I showed you from Hobby Lobby I stuck those in a few things too but I like the way the shelf turned out. This is my favorite spot to decorate for the seasons. And like I said, I wanted to keep my everyday decor out and just add a little red, white, and blue. So over here is a little table. I did decorate it, but you'll see in a few minutes that I came back and added a little something different. Um, this I just kept very simple. When you spread all your decor around your house, it doesn't, you know, leave a lot for each space, but <clears throat> I actually like the simplicity of it. And this little table, actually, the way it turned out at the end is my favorite, I think, of all my July 4th decor. It's really cute. So 
So I just got that um, jar from TJ Maxx and the little star came from Hobby Lobby. They have a ton of those little chunky wooden stars and things that you can use for tiered trays or just little little pieces for f little fill in pieces in your decor. And that's just a red placemat, red and white placemat. I got the craft store a couple years ago and I just use it there. But you'll see in a minute that I did move that around. I started it there and I like it there, but I needed it in another space. So you'll see that in a second. And right now I'm just trying to fluff up the pillows, fluff up the couch. And I picked up this pillow at the Target dollar spot for $5 and it is so cute. I wish I had two of them so I could show the stars and the stripes, but it's adorable. And then I was trying to move Chloe over and let her let me put a pillow there I actually made that pillow from some placemats and a pillow insert I found at Walmart, uh, Goodwill a couple years ago and then that is what the living room looks like for now I did come back later and do the floors just because like I said the cats were sleeping and I didn't want to disturb everyone so but I did did do that at the end So now I'm going to head out to my front porch. I'm not going overboard on my porch this year. <laughs> not that I usually do, but I'm just going to sweep it off. That step Marion made, if you remember watching that video, I'll try to link it above um, where Marion built that step. And I still need to paint it. I still have not painted it, but this reminded me I need to. <laughs> I need to see if I have some more of the black paint, but I'm just going to paint it black. But for now, I'm just going to clean off everything. And this is a constant needing to sweep it just um, you know as soon as I sweep it every time inevitably we have a storm and it just blows all kinds of stuff on it but it looks good for a day or two and then I'm just gonna add a couple little things out here not too much I did just leave all my spring decor and I usually will put some red flowers on my porch but this year I didn't I just kept the pink ones and just added in my flags and a few stars and then I bought these like I said at Hobby Lobby I was counting the wooden um, slats because they don't have the same amount on both sides so I have to try to find the center and these things were a pain I just used some wire to put them up and I don't know they I've used them I've, I've used these before not these exact ones but they flip over every time it like gets really windy and they flip to the other side of my porch and after looking at this I think that I'm gonna go buy like four more of them and then I'll have three on each side I think that will look a lot better I've always only done one little flag on each side but I think to have three would be really pretty I picked it up at Walmart there were six dollars a flag so it wouldn't be that much to go get a couple more hopefully they will still have some but I think I will add those to the porch and it'll just make it look better this is my garden flag that I I've had this stand forever and ever and it's all rusted but I love the star on it and I just picked up the little flag like it said at Walmart it's not a July 4th theme but it's so cute for summer and I am um, gonna put a little my little Dollar Tree pick in this plant I love to put little picks and plants in that every summer I change it up and then this is just another little um, stand a sign I think it said to the garden and then that's another one I got from Dollar Tree. And then, like I said, I did not change these flowers to red. I think they're pretty like this and they don't need to be changed. So I just added my flags, gave it a little bit of, um, you know, patriotic decor. And there is a look at my porch. I like the way it turned out. I like the simplicity of it. It didn't stress me out. It didn't take me too long. Like I said, I'm going to add some more flags and I think that'll just be the finishing touch.
Okay, now I'm back inside. I wanted to do my porch before my neighbors came home. When they're out there, they're like all out there and they're always watching me. And I just thought, you know what? They're gone. I'm gonna go out and do my porch. And I just barely made it before they came home and they were all talking about what I was doing. And it's kind of funny when you're filming and you know, they're sweet, but I just wanted to do it when they weren't home watching me. So I am back inside now and this is my little table runner. I think it's so cute, but it obviously does not fit my table. I do have a big one, but I kind of didn't really want a table runner this year. It's It gets in the way and it gets crumbs all over it. And I just thought, you know what? It's cute, but it doesn't. this one doesn't fit my table. So I decided to move it. So I'll show you in just a second where I moved it. And I went ahead and took that little placemat from the coffee table and just put that on here and it's not my favorite I moved that little house and put the star that I had over on the other table and the two plaids just don't go together I have to figure that out still but I put a little few little picks in my plant up there and you know it's a work in progress but I like the the little square fabric on the table much better than the table runner I don't know sometimes the table runner just gets on our nerves but I did move this one over here because it's so cute I didn't want to not use it I love the fringe on it that also came from the Target dollar spot it's one of my favorites and I have to use it every year but I think that little table is still my favorite part of my July 4th decor <laughs> So now I'm just going to go in, clean up the kitchen a little bit. I just needed to load a few dishes and I wanted to wipe everything down and then um, adding just a couple things in here and then we will, well then I'll do my floors and then we will be done. <laughs> So now I'm just going to put up a little bit of decor. This is a little flag that I made with some paint stir, stir sticks a few years ago. I just think it's kind of like rustic and I love it. I got this little flag sign at Hobby Lobby. I think it was $7.99. I was hoping that their stuff would be on sale the other day, but it has not gone on sale yet. And then of course a little star pick over there. And then I have a few towels that I want to pull out. This one I just got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it was $6.99. And then last year I got the plaid one at Hobby Lobby and so I wanted something, I don't know, I loved the fringe and I wanted it to match the plaid. And then this one was from a sweet subscriber last year. It's my teal color and it has a little bike with a flag on it. It's so cute. So I had to use that too. And then um, these stars, I should have, I, I wish I had bought more stars because these are so great to stick in all your little plants. And there, I loved the green with the red, white, and blue. It's, so cute in my opinion and then I have a little like chunky wooden star that I also got at Hobby Lobby and that is gonna go up there and that is all the decor I'm putting up there and then I have one more little wall hanging to put up in my kitchen I did I think I got this at Walmart a few years ago it was only a couple dollars I've used it several years but that is it for the decor
Now we're going to work on the floors. I just vacuumed the rugs and vacuum the floors and then the kitties had woken up from their nap now so I didn't think that this would scare them <laughs> but obviously Belle has to attack the vacuum per usual so I'm just going to do the floors and then I'll show you what everything looks like Okay, here's a look at everything decorated and cleaned. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and that it will give you some inspiration to get your house decorated for the summer. It always just makes it feel so quaint and homey. I love it. I just love red, white, and blue. <laughs> so make sure that you check out Belle Lily. I will link everything down below. Go look at their website and get some cute shirts. Get some cute dresses they have all kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff but um thank you again bell lily for sponsoring this video and thank you all for watching for your likes and your subscribing and your shares and your comments i love every one of you i'm praying for you i'll leave you with a beautiful scripture verse and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye